Okay, it's time for Robin to get a bath. On my Westies TV. There's Robin. She had puppies back in April. May, May 11th she had puppies. And she's a West Highland White Terrier. She's not white right now. You're only allowed to bathe them. You only should bathe them about once every six months. Their hair, their, their skin will dry out if you bathe them too much. And to get them white again, we use this white, white brush shampoo. White, and we use this white and bright shampoo. She'll be white again when she gets her bath. She'll look good. She had puppies, so we we're waiting for the puppies to grow up a little bit so they're not messing up the fur again. Because she has the placenta and all that. And they get pretty dirty when they have puppies. But now we're going to give her a bath. I have a little setup in my downstairs bathroom. Oh. So. Robin's going to get a bath. She hasn't had one in a while. Put her on a, a table with a towel to keep her from slipping off. Just an old towel to keep her from slipping. We took her collar off. And now we'll see she has poor, poor cow in her hair. We're going to try to get all that out. That's pretty sticky stuff. Got the water temperature at about 102. Not too hot. Don't want it uncomfortable for them. Their body temperature is about 105. Two. Soak her down really good. And she'll also get a grooming after this here before we before long. Not today. We'll wash her up today, let her dry off. And We have an instant hot water tank. We never run out of hot water. Took her down really good. Look for things in her hair that will come right out. Like this big sport cow starting to, it's starting to uh, dissolve in the water, so that works out well. Move the table over so it's not dripping on the floor. Perfect opportunity to clean up their hindquarters when you got them in here. Alright. Well, she's still being good, still. Can't pull out here. Oh, now this is like baby shampoo. It won't hurt her eyes. It's not harsh in any way. It's designed for pretty much for white dogs. To whiten their skin. Or whiten their hair. The Westies don't have fur. They have hair like we have. So they don't. They're hypoallergenic. And they, uh, they don't shed like other dogs. A little bit more here. You can see they don't mind getting they don't mind getting a bath. They don't mind being in bath. Alright, we're here. Keep making it if you do that yourself, huh? Put the water on yourself, huh? You don't mind having a bath. You don't quite get complete prep food. 
feels good. She likes to be scratched. She likes to have her, her rubbed and getting all the extra attention you get when you're getting up. Getting back up. Get some of the suds and bring it down on the legs. They go through a hormone change when they're having a puppy. Sometimes they get dry skin, but they like to have their back to their axes. Look at them when they go. <laughs> get a grooming before she goes back out. We like to stress them out when they have the puppies. They have enough to deal with when they're dealing with their, with their puppies, so we don't want to stress them out too much. She'll get a, get a haircut. She likes to roll in the mud outside. She likes to dig. When she gets all brown, she sends her out. Digging because we have chipmunks out there and there's chipmunk tunnels underneath the pond area, the run area. So they're digging for the chipmunks. Aren't you? Hmm. Digging for the chipmunks. Hmm. Feels good, don't get your belly rubbed, huh? Thank you. 
And here we have Robin all ready to get videoed, all clean from her bath. We'd like to thank again, thank everyone for watching, all of our subscribers, those who stop by each and every time we have a video. We want to thank you so much. And everyone have a great day.